Well, greetings. This is something I don't think I have uh, recorded before. I have two pair of mids and tweeters out of the original L100 Century. And these are long, long overdue. But I've been down with some bronchitis over the last few weeks, and now I'm just getting around to uh, recording this. So, uh, this gentleman is in the Midwest, and he entrusted me to rebuild them. So, the LE 20 1 is an interesting design. This, uh, and I did not take this apart because it was, it's, it's held together pretty good and I didn't want to risk, risk damaging anything like the voice coil because it works fine. It works fine. The, uh, the cone was uh, faded and the domes were dented in. So I dyed the cones and I, uh, put new domes on them. And it turned out actually pretty good, which <laughs> is the way it should be. But this design, it doesn't have a typical spider like the LE25 does. It's got three little pieces of felt that hold the voice coil in place underneath. Like I say, I'm sorry, I can't take it apart. Uh, but this uh, went together pretty good. This one... I reconed these because the cones, one was okay. In fact, here's one that was good. And here's the one that was broken. Which I think, if I'm not mistaken, some cat, a cat got to that one, I think. So... There's a little bit of a difference in the size of the dome because the aftermarket dome isn't available like the originals. So it's a little bit bigger. And I tried cutting them down, but it just didn't turn out very good. So I decided to just go ahead and use the, the bigger dome and put a decent uh, bead of the black adhesive on there to fill it in. Uh, and the, I tested the crossover. He sent, sent me the crossovers too. And really all that needed to be done with the crossovers was uh, clean the L pads because they were crackly. So there's the tweeter. All right, that's going to be kind of obnoxious. And here's the mid-range. It's nice and clean now. So, those of you might not know that the uh, L100, and I've got a woofer to hook up to it, but I'm not going to take the time to, to video that. The woofer runs full range. It goes right from the input to the woofer, so there's no filters on it whatsoever. The mid-range filter in here uh, does not have a high pass. I'm sorry, it doesn't have a low pass. It does, there, there isn't a band pass. It just runs... It has a, a high pass, and the uh, mid-range just runs full out from mid-range up all the way up to 20K, whatever whatever you want to call it. And the tweeter has got a 12 dB proc. Let me back up a little bit. The L100 Century, the original one, had 12 dB proc of high pass filters. So... So it just blocked out the low frequencies based on the crossover, the filter value. So the tweeter and the mid-range are covering 
the tweet the mid range is covering a lot of the same frequencies that the tweeter is because it's just running full, you know, full bore out to 20k or whatever. There's there's no there's no low pass filter on it to make it a band pass. So <clears throat> just kind of interesting. But anyway, uh, they turned out pretty good, and uh, my customer is going to be relieved that he's finally getting these back. So. There you go. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.